These days, family hatchbacks come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Some are more flamboyant than others, and the Citroen C4 Cactus is about as flamboyant as it gets. Granted, plenty of rivals like the Skoda Yeti and Nissan Duke offer mini SUV looks, but in a variety of other ways, the Cactus looks like nothing else on the road. Wherever you look on this car, there is something unique. Take these cool looking lights. Headlamps? No, LED daytime running lights. The headlights themselves are positioned down here in the bumper. And unlike most cars, there isn't really a front grille to speak of. However, it's down the sides of the car where the cactus really sets itself apart. These soft squashy panels, known as air bumps, actually have pockets of air inside that not only give a cool, edgy, urban look, but also protect the car from minor bumps and scuffs. And with design being so central to the Cactus's appeal, there are also countless colour combinations to choose from for the air bumps, door mirrors, roof rails, and that's before you've even chosen the colour of your paint. So, if the Cactus wasn't already one of the most individual looking cars on the market, you can also personalise it to your heart's content. One word of warning though, the choices aren't nearly so numerous if you go for the entry level trim and you don't get alloy wheels either. With all that's going on on the outside of the car, it's perhaps a little bit surprising that the interior is so minimalist. There's very little in the way of switch gear in here, with most functions being controlled through this touchscreen. It's not the most intuitive system of its type, nothing like, but you should get used to it with a little bit of practice. And despite one or two cheap feeling panels, it still manages to feel very modern and classy in here, which style conscious buyers will absolutely love. However, it's not the most practical car of its type. Space is fine, there's enough room in the back for a pair of six footers and a decent boot, but it just lacks some handy touches. The rear windows only pop out rather than wind down, and the rear bench comes in one piece rather than being split, which limits the car's versatility. The high load lip will also get in the way when you're loading heavy items. While the Cactus looks radical, don't go expecting anything too radical about the way it drives. The whole experience is very relaxed and easy. The pedals, gear shift and the steering all work with a nice light action. And although the suspension will clonk a bit over big bumps and potholes, it does a decent job of smoothing out most uneven surfaces. Granted, you will feel a fair amount of body lean if you enter a bend too quickly, but this isn't the sort of car where you'll be doing that on purpose. The engine we've got in this car contributes to that relaxed feel as well. It's a 1.6 litre diesel with 98 brake horsepower. And because it pulls nice and strongly from the bottom of the rev range, it's got enough flexibility to keep life nice and easy. It's also really efficient with fuel economy of almost 81 miles per gallon. And the correspondingly low CO2 emissions also make this version really cheap to run as a company car. That said, it's not the quietest or smoothest engine of its type and you'll also hear a fair amount of wind noise and road noise. True, the Cactus has some fairly fundamental flaws, especially when it comes to practicality and refinement, but it's an interesting and likeable car nonetheless. It's affordable to buy and, if you pick the right version, it's also very cheap to run. However, the chances are that if you like the individual looks, you're probably already sold. If you enjoyed watching this video, then click the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel or leave us a comment to let us know what you think. If you want to see more video reviews like this one, click the window on the top right. If you'd like to see a review of the Renault Capture, click the window on the bottom right.